limloss.org, educating, enabling, and empowering the amputee community. The casting procedure is a very important step in the prosthetic fitting process. It is when you and your practitioner will work together to acquire the shape of your limb. The resultant shape is what's called an impression, and the impression is what's used to build your first check socket. Keep in mind that your personal experiences during the casting procedure may differ slightly than what's shown in this video, but the overall idea is that we want you to know what to expect when going into the casting procedure so that you have the best possible experience and you get the best possible results. So the practitioner will take you back to an exam room, re-familiarize themselves with your residual limb, noting any areas on your limb where there are specific areas that they'll want to pay special attention to during the casting procedure. Typically, they'll take a measurement or two to obtain the correctly sized gel liner and picking the gel liner from their stock they'll work with you in applying the most properly sized gel liner to your limb. Remember that you're going to be wearing your gel liner in your socket and in your prosthesis. So your practitioner is actually going to cast over the top of the liner as well. The practitioner then applies a very thin layer of plastic all the way around the gel liner and around your limb. The purpose of the plastic is to keep the gel liner nice and clean during the casting procedure. As you'll see, it can be quite messy. This also serves a purpose in compressing some of the soft tissue of your limb. The practitioner then takes a piece of cotton or nylon stockinette. In this case, he wets it. applies it to the residual limb and takes care to remove all of the wrinkles and make sure that it's not twisted in any way. Remember, you want to think of the casting procedure sort of like the foundation of a house. It's very important to start with a very sure foundation. So setting up the casting procedure appropriately and taking your time is very, very important. At this point, the practitioner will use what's called an indelible pencil to mark certain bony landmarks of your limb and also mark certain areas that contain soft tissue. These are areas that the practitioner is going to pay special attention to while building your check socket. So they'll definitely take their time marking every little detail. Some practitioners mark a lot, some practitioners don't mark much at all. Next, the practitioner will take some of this material called plaster of Paris. This is the actual casting material. When dunking it in water, it will actually set off a chemical reaction that will harden the material after about five minutes. So during this time, you've got about a three to five minute working time where the practitioner will apply it to the limb in very specific ways and start to apply pressure to it in very specific ways as well. In this case, the practitioner has taken an entire roll of plaster and is wrapping it circumferentially all the way around the limb to create a nice thin layer of plaster of Paris with which then they can start to apply pressure to it in very unique and specific ways. The practitioner will then use their hand skills to sort of mimic what would be happening in the socket with your limb. They'll apply pressure to certain areas of, of pressure tolerant areas and, and make sure to try to well define pressure sensitive areas so that they can relieve them or capture them in this impression.
As the plaster hardens, the practitioner continues to work the plaster into the limb in specific ways and continues to define certain bony landmarks. After about five minutes, when the plaster has set off and it is hardened, then it's time to remove the impression. So the practitioner will pull down the stockinette layer and sort of free the impression from the limb. With gentle pressure, the practitioner will pull it from the limb And there you have it. The result is that you have both worked together to capture the shape of the residual limb for your first check socket. Now looking down inside the impression, you can see that the indelible pencil transferred onto the inside layer of the impression. The plastic layer can be discarded. The cotton stockinette can be removed. And there you have it a beautiful impression that's going to result in an excellent fitting socket. Here are a few pointers for going into your casting procedure. Remember the casting procedure can be messy, especially if plaster of Paris is used, so be sure to bring a towel. Since your practitioner will need access to your leg, be sure to bring a pair of shorts that you can change into for the casting procedure. If possible, Bring a loved one with you to the appointment for moral support. A lot of information is thrown at you during these appointments, so having a second set of ears can be very, very helpful. Be sure to check out the next tutorial video in our series, where we walk you through the check socket fitting. This is a really exciting appointment, because it's the first time you'll feel what it's like to bear weight into a socket, and it's the first time you get to stand again, one step closer to using your prosthesis. Limloss.org, educating, enabling, and empowering the amputee community.